Okay, in today's video, you have a decision to make. Fretless bass or fretted bass? Okay, so this choice between fretless and fretted, this doesn't just come down to the two of these sounding slightly different and it being a matter of personal preference. Yes, there are physical differences that will factor into personal preference and we'll talk about that in a second. But if you were to play predominantly one over the other, you will develop a very different skill set. And the skills that you might learn from playing one, you can't necessarily get from playing the other. So to help you figure out which one you should choose, let's start first by looking at the physical differences between the basses. So we might as well start with the obvious here. Main difference between a fretless and fretted bass is going to be the frets. Now the frets are these little metal bars that run along the neck here. On a fretless bass you don't have those. On some fretless basses you do get these little lines which are like markers to indicate where you should play. But you'll also see plenty of fretless basses that have necks like this double bass here. So you can see no lines, no markers whatsoever. Now, something as simple as just having frets or not having frets on a bass actually makes these two instruments really, really different. And it means if you were to play one predominantly over the other, you will develop a very different set of skills. So first of all, what are those skills and how do they factor into your decision over which one you should choose? So if you predominantly play fretless, the first thing you'll notice is that your fretting hand spacing and hand position becomes a lot better. You've got to be a lot more conscientious of where you put your fingers because fingers being put in the wrong position means you play out of tune. Even something as small as this, putting my finger there and then moving it like that makes it a little bit flatter. That makes it a little bit sharper, you can hear there. On a fretted bass, you don't have to worry about that though, because it's the frets themselves rather than your fingers that keep the notes in tune. So if I put my finger there, you can see, it doesn't really matter where I move my finger within the fret, notes always in tune. This also means that playing a fretless bass will change the way that you listen and the way you hear music. We just saw on a fretted bass that once you play a note, you don't have to pay much attention to it after you've played it because the frets will keep it in tune. Now this means that the fretless bass has got a somewhat similar sound to the double bass. So we've got that, that similar kind of moi quality to some of the notes. So here's the thing, if you learn fretless bass, you might think, well, I'm going to get a load of skills that I wouldn't get from playing fretted bass, and it's always going to be better to have a better ear or a better technique, for example, because I can just apply that to fretted bass. The vast majority of gigs these days require a fretted bass rather than a fretless bass. So on the one hand, it's all well and good being developmentally minded and getting a fretless bass because of the technical and the ear benefits. But on the other hand, does doing that come at the cost of you actually getting gigs? So if you're stuck on figuring out which one you should buy, before you go to the shop, make sure you ask yourself these four questions. First question, what kind of gigs do you currently have or what kind of gigs do you want to have? Some gigs will necessitate having a fretted bass over a fretless bass, so you might end up having to make your decision just on a basis of needs must. Question two is what music do you want to play? If you really want to play all the fretless Pino stuff like wherever I lay my hat, then get a fretless. But if you really want to sound like you're playing loads of Marcus Miller slap stuff, get a fretted bass. Again, it's a needs must thing. Question three is how do you want to sound? This is where things become a little bit more nuanced because you might not have the sound of a particular player in mind, but you might like the sound of certain articulations. For example, if you wanted to have a more vocal-like quality to your playing, Vocalists don't have frets, they can move and slide between notes like you could on a fretless. Question four is what do you personally like playing? 
go to your local base shop, try out some fretted, try out some fretless bases, and if you find yourself really loving one, then there's no reason why you shouldn't go for that base. Now, there's also a big argument for having both a fretted and a fretless base in your arsenal. I would say for professionals or for serious students, you definitely need to be able to do both because it's going to make you way more diverse and way more employable. You'll get a lot more gigs. But let me know down below in the comments which you prefer, which you think you might buy, fretted or fretless. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do consider subscribing. And I've also left links down below to other bases. So, you know, P bases versus J bass, active versus passive, four versus five string. Take a look at those, and I'll see you in another video real soon. Take care.